Welcome back to Ozarks Live. What do you think of this picture? Uh -huh. All right, the Queen City Beard and Mustache Federation has their 12th annual Beard and Mustache competition coming up this weekend. And as you can see, we have some folks here to tell you all about it. First, thanks all of you for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tom, for having us. All right, now, Bill, you and I have met so many times. I mean, I've been lucky enough to be one of the judges for the competition over a, a number of years. Oh, maybe seven, eight? At, at least, oh, yeah. Yep. And the thing is, you know, they people are under the mistaken impression, first of all, because you're singing these long, beautiful beards, that I couldn't compete. Outside of fact, I'm a judge, I can't, but anyone with a beard, mustache, or both can compete. Yes, you'd be like the business beard category because right. you'd be like the under four category. We have mm -hmm. under four, four to eight, or four to 10, 10 to 12. We have different categories like a goatee, Whiskerina, mm -hmm. this is the females. I was gonna say, you ladies, you're welcome to compete as well. You have your own categories. Yep, uh, we have like natural mustache, style mustache. We have full beard groomed. There's a category for anybody. Uh huh. Except for kids, this is a 21 and up this year because of where we're at. Right. We're at the inner circle vodka bar. Okay. Um, we've, this is our 12th annual. We've uh, raised over $100,000 for local charities in Southwest Missouri by that's, doing this. See, that's the best part of the whole deal. Now, also, yes, this is a local competition, but it can go much broader than that, and you're a perfect example of that. Yes, sir, I'm from South Carolina. Mm-hmm, see, South Carolina, she's a champion, and she's not just like a champion in Springfield. She's a champion. Yes, sir, I'm an intercontinental champion. I've won competitions all around the world. Mm -hmm. And this is what this can lead to, this competition. You start out local, you can go regional, state, all sorts of things, right? Yep. We have nationals, we have like a, just local one here, then you go to nationals, you go to worlds, but they're open to everybody. You yeah. don't have to win to move up or anything like that. No. You just go out and have a good time. All of them are for charity, whether it be local or national charities. And like John, I mean, he's from North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, this has to be something. To, this is more than just kind of standing there and showing your beard and then leaving. This really is a great gathering of people, is it not? It is. It's a community uh, that's really unlike no other. People are surprised at the camaraderie and the friendships that we develop. I mean, we literally can go to almost any state and we know people in every state. And, and it's just it's a joy to get back together every month or every few months and celebrate and raise money for charity. Yeah, and I've noticed it all uh, over the years. You have contingents from different states, different cities, all over the map, really. Yep. We actually have a judge from uh, Modesto, California. Uh -huh. We have South Dakota, Oklahoma City. Of course, you. Then we have our charity this year, Stable Companion Horse Rescue on the north side of Springfield. Okay. Uh, it's a great... It's a great rescue. They rescue horses like, say, you know, champion horses that are, you know, instead of euthanizing them, they take them in and they care for them until they pass away. Or Rehabilitate and let them live out their lives. Plus, they also do, like, stuff with kids and veterans and families and stuff like that. They always need volunteers to come out. Now, remind folks when and where this is going to be happening. Tomorrow, registration starts from 2 to 4, or sorry, 2 to 5. Competition starts at 5. Inner Circle Vodka Bar, downtown Springfield, 21 and up. Thirty dollars to enter the competition, ten dollars to be a spectator. It's a lot of fun. You don't have to have fish wear to be part of it. Come out, join us. It's a big party starting tonight at Tommy Hawk's Axe House at a pre party. Yeah, yeah, and and it really is. This is yes. There are people come come competing, but it's also an observational sport. You can talk. I mean, I could come up to you and say, okay, what did you do to to make this lie the way it does? You can impair wisdom to people who want to know what to do. It's like I just grew mine, and that's about it. But that is a whole different ball of wax. It is. You know, you get questions all the time. You can be in the mall, be at the gas station, and next thing you know, is get hit up, and you can't walk out for ten minutes because somebody's just drilling you, and you're having fun talking about it. Very true. Because I mean, anyway, and you're going to see truly works of art. You need to come and see this because it's like your beard. Or others, they'll have, I mean, the most incredible beards and mustaches you're going to see anywhere. True? Mm -hmm. True. Oh, definitely. Like, we have a, our freestyle guys that spend anywhere from one hour to eight hours getting ready to look like this. This is an this. example like of that. freestyle. That's a freestyle for sure. Exactly. What's the secret? The well, secret is, I don't know, she's that good. Patience. Okay, it's a patience. secret. So you can't, <laughs> patience. That's Lots the best Lots of hairspray. <laughs> All right, so. You want to see some of the best beards and mustaches in the land, you can see them tomorrow. All right, it is the Queen City Beard and Mustache Federation <sighs> Tournament.
Competition. Competition. Even better. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. We'll be right back.